Hello beautiful Leos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and we are welcoming everyone. I'm so glad you've arrived and taken the time to visit me. Let's see what we have for Leo and love at this time. See where you're at, this is an energy reading for you focused on your energy. All right, oh, the Empress card, you found your mate. That is a manifestation and the embodiment of love. Leo, look at you. You are feeling so happy that what whoever the feminine energy is in this relationship, whether it's you or other, you just feel so incredibly fulfilled, seen, and heard. I don't think you've ever been happier. The queen of water, there is a tremendous desire. You are definitely in your emotions. You're feeling them. It feels home. It feels like happiness. It's a joyful feeling. Leo, you are looking at what you have put into the relationship. You're thinking about your goals and how you want the relationship to grow. We get two of water. Ooh, many of you are seriously thinking about marriage, commitment. You feel as though you are with your soulmate presently. That's one of the most beautiful love readings I've seen for Leo even at the beginning. We have ten of fire. You have given up any burdens of, I think, maybe disagreements or misunderstandings. That's what I'm feeling here is that there's always been a lot of passion and a lot of heat in this relationship but you went through a period of misunderstandings and now you've ascended you've let go of any burdens that have haunted you in love leo beautiful nine of coin this is pre-empress energy it really speaks to the process that you've gone through with your person your person is single they're very competent they're very uh, abundant in their own life this is not a person who needs anyone this is pre-empress energy but this person is manifested for you we have the moon card you are very much in your intuition being guided beautifully by your emotions and the depth of feeling uh, feeling very you know enjoying almost the mystery of life enjoying the beauty of the night the beauty of how you feel as you go to sleep at night the joy that you have when you wake up you're in a place of very serene emotion very much handled you know you don't know what the future brings you're very curious about it but you are not fearful about it the nine of air does speak to the fact that i think that you're restless at night I do feel as though you may be having dreams that you think are precognitive. The Nine of Air is really Gemini energy. It's, you know, I would just simply caution you from too much worry, too much concern. I do think that the Ten of Wands energy in your relationship at an earlier time, I think this is all about the history of the relationship that's now in beautiful shape. And you know, it's a journey. We all get to know each other. But the Nine of Air says that you have, you're wondering if your partner has let go of any possible bad feelings, resentment, uh, feelings of hurt or feelings of being wounded by you. And I would say absolutely, this is an ascended, ascended reading by far. The two of earth, you are juggling something. You want two different options here. You are juggling two ideas, two feelings, two ideas about how to go forward in the relationship. Um, a lot of you are quite busy. I feel as though many of you work two jobs, but it looks like you're extremely busy, almost too much. Sometimes you feel, you know, like you don't give the relationship enough energy, but you're with somebody who's busy um, in their own right. The Ten of Earth, oh, legacy, long-term, committed relationship, feeling so grounded, so happy, so joyful. That is a beautiful energy for you. Oh, Leo, that is the best. That's really what you value. You want what this relationship brings to the table. You've really never had this kind of support and fulfillment in a relationship before. Transformation. I feel as though this relationship probably went through a period in, of which you were separated. The transformation card is the death card, so it does speak to the fact that your journey in this row is very specific. And when we got the Ten of Wands, 
we get the transformation, giving up the burdens. You're still a little bit worried about it, you're still in your head, but the beautiful transformation card is really looking and letting go, again, letting go of this sort of the debris that got in the way. It's a process, falling in love is a process. It's not a light switch typically. The queen of fire, Aries energy, that is, the you feel as though your person embodies all the passion, all the happiness, all the joy that you feel as though you are with someone who, like yourself, is very courageous, willing to take the leap of faith into the future, someone who's very expressive about their passion. This is a person who will always have their own life, who will not be codependent in any way with you. This is a person who is fully the manifested empress. They have combined all their energies from all of the queens into Empress Energy. But what you admire most is this person's fire in their belly. They're always up to something. They're super creative. They start, they finish, they manifest. So let's see what the overall energy is for you in this relationship as a takeaway for today. I just think that the two of you transform the relationship and you're, you feel as though it's very solid right now, but there's a little bit of worry. I don't see any reason to worry. I feel like this is quite beautiful, quite, quite beautiful in terms of your growth. You know, relationships are supposed to help us grow and become more than we are. Look at this, a fork in the road. You know it's time to make a decision to step into a more committed, um, a committed relationship with your person. It's really time, you know. When we see the Pluto card, the transformation card, if you only ever dated, usually it's the death of dating and the... And then marriage, we have two marriage cards, making that fork in the road, you know, develop into a transformation of going from dating into a very serious relationship, you know, one of deep commitment. We have deep knowing, you know this is your person. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. We have a lot of fire sign energy here, but it's mostly, you know, you've got Sagittarius, you've got Aries energy. But Leo, you are really firmly in this situation of um, the energy of really knowing that this is your person, knowing very much that this is part of your tribe. So that is your reading for today. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It's the only way we can be successful in the world of YouTube. So I would really enjoy your support and appreciate it. Thank you.